Hey there, film friends. Jonathan here, and today I want to introduce you to five short films that you need to watch right now, especially if you're a filmmaker or a screenwriter, as each of these has at least one or two lessons, if not several lessons, that you can learn from and apply to your own filmmaking and craft going forward. Now I set a few criteria in order to limit the scope of this and select those five films, so let's cover the criteria I used when selecting these films. First, I'm looking for truly short films here, capping out around 15 minutes or so. If you couldn't watch it on a brief break from work, it's not gonna make this list. Second, no proof of concepts. Those are an entirely different beast in my opinion, and they may have their own list sometime down the line. Third, availability. Only short films that are currently available on YouTube as of this recording, because, you know, the whole point is for you to go watch them. Fourth, there needs to be a lesson or a takeaway, something exceptional about this film or its director or its writing that you can then take away and apply to your own work. Oh, and one more thing, if it wasn't clear by this point, these are not ranked in any particular order. These are not uh, one through five, literally my top five favorite films because I'm too indecisive to pick my top five favorite of anything. Okay, now that we've got the preamble out of the way, let's dive into the list, starting with number one. Other Side of the Box by Caleb J. Phillips. Now I know I literally just said that picking a top favorite of anything would be borderline impossible for me. However, if somebody were to put a gun to my head and ask me my favorite short film, this is probably the one I would blurt out to save my own life. Other Side of the Box is a masterpiece in creating a unique premise for your story and executing that well. It's what I would call a smartly simple premise. The film also has excellent pacing for building tension and cleverly plants the clues to the twist in its dialogue. Number two, Final Offer by Mark Slutsky. Final Offer at the end of the day is really just one big dialogue scene, but it's really well executed. The whole thing takes place in one room, with no doors, mind you, between two... <laughs> lawyers? Uh... It's, uh... It's a character-driven sci-fi that fits a grand concept into a cat-and-mouse battle of wits, while also managing to stay lighthearted and fun. Ultimately, though, the biggest takeaway here for the writers in the room is how to take your character's weakness, their big flaw, and create a scenario where it's the crux of their victory. Just watch. You'll see what I mean. Speaking of lighthearted, let's take a second to talk about number three on this list, A Date in 2025 by Ryan Turner date that is rapidly approaching now that I think about it. What's your point? Sci-fi films featuring futuristic AI typically fall in the more dystopian, murdery realm of films. However, uh, not so with Ryan's film. Centering around an advanced AI with a very big and hilarious personality, this is a laser-focused comedy that follows a self-isolated guy trying to work up the courage to go out on a date in the real world pretty relatable in 2021, right? It's stylistic, witty, and colorful, and is yet another example of making a limited cast and set work to great effect. Moving right along with another witty film, we have Spider by Nash Edgerton. Now, I strongly considered putting Bear, his follow-up film, on this list, but I got a lot more out of Spider, and I think you may too. There is a lot you can learn from Spider, from its realistic, gritty, color grading camera work to its seamless VFX, but I think the greatest asset to this film is its characters. Jack is a bit of a garbage person, but watching him effortlessly win over his angry girlfriend, Jill, is kind of delightful. Even though there's an underlying sense of dread every time you remember what's tucked up under the mirror. Number five. Speaking of hiding, let's round this list out with one more great horror flick, shall we? Don't Peek by Julian Terry is another film that works really well by getting creative within and around its constraints. Shot in one room with one actor and one Nintendo Switch and some blind VFX, Julian creates a palpable sense of foreboding that will put your heart in your throat. It's so great, it's apparently won the creator a shot at a feature film adaptation. If that's not the type of short film that you want to learn from, then I don't know what is. And that's my list. I've got all five of these videos linked in the description below, so if you'd like to go watch any or all of them, go ahead and do so, and then definitely come back and let me know what did you think. 
Did you have a favorite out of these? Did you like my assessment? Did you take something else away from it? Any and all thoughts, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't yet watched the short films that I've created on Story Arc that are living here on this channel, definitely please go check those out as well. I'd love to know your thoughts there. I appreciate the views. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, ring that little bell or whatever the YouTubers say these days. And until next time, keep telling your story. Bye for now.